After days of being blocked from going back into Lahaina, a glimmer of hope for some. Oh, I got my, uh, my access to the other side so I can see my burnout apartment and see what's left of it. To get past the roadblocks, permission slips were given to residents, workers, and volunteers. But within a few hours, they shut it down again, citing too much demand from non-essential and non-Maui residents. There's people that wants to go out there to just be nosy. Allow us locals to get to our families that are still surviving out there. Allow us locals to get to our kupunas and get them their medication that they need. Another source of frustration, mounting questions around the ongoing response to the wildfire disaster. The New York Times reported firefighters struggled as they were running out of water. The Washington Post points to questions about why the utility company didn't shut down power with hurricane force winds picking up, a known hazard to spark fires. Already it was revealed that warning sirens were never activated and that power failures and cell outages prevented emergency alerts from getting through. We're heartbroken that people couldn't get out or didn't get alerted. The state governor has already announced there will be a review looking into the response, but stressed the huge challenge of fighting back this force of nature. If you put a fire truck in the way of the flames that were coming through at 1,000 miles an hour, the fire truck would have been incinerated in addition to the people. For now, the search for the missing continues. Officials say it will last for several days, and the number of dead expected to rise dramatically. We have sent more personnel as well as more cadaver dogs to come into the area, and they are working in conjunction with the Maui Fire Department and the Sheriff's Office to make sure that we are doing this in a very methodical way, but one that is also very respectful um, of the community to make sure that we find everybody that is unaccounted for. Magda, we appreciate their developments throughout the evening. What else do we know tonight? Well, it seems at this point that those roadblocks don't, won't be going anywhere anytime soon with crews still having to search so much of the disaster area. But the fact is a lot of people are really frustrated uh, knowing that they're not going to be able to access the road and get to family members that are on the other side uh, in need of supplies. All right, Magda Gibberslesa, Maui tonight. Thank you.